so big. Um, and here's my other daughter. She's sitting, she's standing on a chair. I mean, a chair. Um, um, yeah, so wait, let's get this thing started. another 4th of July treat for you. I hope that you guys all have a great, safe, happy 4th of July. Today we are going to be making a chocolate, it's kind of between a mousse and a cheesecake. So um, this is made it twice now and people have absolutely loved it. So today we're making it red, white, and blue style. So we're going to spice it up a little bit and let's... Okay guys, so um, we in our bowl we just started out with our, this is to make our crust. We started out with one and three quarters cup of almond flour. The next thing we are going to add, next thing we are going to add is three tablespoons of cocoa powder. Can you hand Mackenzie the cocoa powder? Is this cocoa powder? Yes. And then is this next? Yes. And then we have three tablespoons of um, our our, turtle, our uh, of our alternative sweetener. Adriana's gonna add that for me. Thank you, girls. I am not Adriana. I am Michelle, the keto girl. And then we are going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Daughter. And then mommy's going to add the butter. This is a third cup of melted butter. All right, can you girls please mix it for me? Mixing, mixing, mixing. This is gonna be yummy for me, mommy, keto mama. This is gonna be yummy for my, for me, keto mama. I'm Keto Mama, so this is gonna be yummy. Mm. Happy Fourth of July, human. Okay, so now that we have mixed our um, no bake crust, we are going to put spray in our glass dish, just so it doesn't stick, and then we are going to scoop our no big crust which looks like this into our dish and then we're going to put it in our dish and we're going to put it in the refrigerator while we make our um, filling mixture. Alright. Alright, here we are. We have our crust in and we're going to go put it in the refrigerator while we make our other part of our cake. All right, everyone, we are back. Um, we're going to start with our chocolate, creamy chocolate mixture. And um, for this part, um, Mackenzie added our sugar first, even though that's not how I typically do it. But there's a half cup of whatever alternative sugar you choose to use. It could be allulose, it could be erythritol, it could be monk fruit. And the next thing that we're going to add is our cream cheese. So we're going to add 12 ounces of cream cheese. You, you want to uh, add that? Mama. What about the next thing I do in the bank? All right, now we're going to add our cream cheese. Mackenzie, go ahead. She's going to add 4 ounces and Adriana is going to add 8 ounces. Here, just pop it in there. Whoop. All right. And then we're going to add a cup of heavy whipping cream. Lindsay's going to add half. And then I'm going to have the other half. So that's a whole heavy cream. <laughs> One full cup. There you go. Okay, that is so melty. All right, and now we're gonna mix it. Mackenzie just added a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then we're gonna mix our mixture together. Yeah. 
we just mixed our cream cheese, heavy cream, sweetener, and our vanilla extract. Next we're going to add a half a cup of cocoa powder. And then we're going to add about three ounces of dark chocolate melted. Then we are going to do one final mixing and then it will be ready to put in the refrigerator for about two hours to harden. And then we'll come back and we'll do our topping. Special 4th of July topping. Okay, Alright, so here we are with our completely mixed mixture. It looks good. I did it a little sample because I always like to try to sample it, see if it needs anything before it goes into the final thing. And it tasted great, so the girls even gave me their stamp of approval on it. So here we are. We're going to spoon it on top of our crust. Oops, sorry. Sorry about that noise, you guys. Okay, we're going to do that. And then the girls are going to smooth it out for me. Okay. Yep. You're the mom. I am the mom. My kids She's just being the mom right being now. I'm being the Adriana. No, that's not real. I am the mom. Yep. No what she said, say. what my mom said is happening. Mm. I want to it to be like that until the bottom. Look at it with my jelly. Jelly. Oh kind of looks like a pudding. Like chocolate pudding. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. Try. Can't, 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 can't wait for everyone at the cookout to taste it. Alright, smooth it out. We're just having a family party. Alright, you don't really want to mix it in there. Just smooth it out. Okay, give Adriana a turn. Make sure it's nice. Ooh, don't go too far over the edge. Wow, you guys did a great job no, with this. No, Mom, I'm not all done doing it. Alright, just do it like that. Do it like, just smooth it out. I want to move it out. Everybody can help. Alright, awesome. More towards the All right, so here's where we're going to make it festive. We're going to make our red, white, and blue topping. So for the red, I have my cut up strawberries cut into quarters. I have for blue, I have my blueberries. And for my white, it's not really for flavor, it's more for a look. I have a little bit of um, lightly toasted coconut. So, um not even probably really going to taste the coconut so it's more just for looks than for anything but um so we're just going to put our strawberries on yeah. and maybe we're just going to sprinkle strawberries around i'll do it with you mom great job mom the strawberries are almost done yep and the boys take it over Okay, that's good enough. Good enough. And then next, we're going to add our blueberries. For Grandpa. I love it. It looks so festive. It makes me so happy. And then for last, we're just going to do a little bit of toasted coconut flake. Make it really festive looking. 
here we go we added our strawberries blueberries and toasted coconut flake it looks like it's ready for the 4th of July I hope everyone has a great holiday if you can um, like this video and you can go down and hit the subscribe button for me and give me a big thumbs up also if you hit the bell icon you'll know as soon as I post a video and um, sometimes YouTube doesn't subscribe you so just make sure that subscribe button is not red. Um, have a great 4th of July, and I'll see you guys later.